Well, it just goes to show you that uh, possibilities are endless when it comes to people living with a disability. And organizations like Chimes International make sure that people with disabilities right here on Delmarva are living their lives to the fullest. If you happen to know anyone with an intellectual or developmental disability, then you know they're fully capable of living full and happy lives. But sometimes they may need a little extra help in doing so. That's where the nonprofit organization Chimes International can help. Chimes is a provider of services to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Uh, we also serve folks with certain behavioral health needs and uh, are a provider of work to folks with disabilities as well. Chimes was founded in Baltimore in 1947. In 1989, their current president and CEO, Marty Lampner, joined the organization. And in 1994, he helped bring it to Delaware. We started in Delaware, you know, late at night. We had a five-day warning that uh, a provider was in trouble. They'd asked us to take over. And as I say, we heard on a Sunday night we had to be in business on Friday. So uh, it was an interesting time. Over the next 21 years, Chimes would go on to build a strong relationship with the local community, all while helping people with disabilities in all aspects of their life, starting with housing. We also provide residential placements and uh, support services. And by support services, we're talking about where a person from Chimes may be going into a family home or uh, an apartment that's occupied by a person with a disability and assisting them with the activities of daily living. And when the folks are not at home, you can find them at any one of the various programs offered by Chimes, like the enrichment program. And that's for folks where employment is not at least in the near term, uh, an active goal. Uh, we may be looking to go there eventually, but it's uh, to help them with socialization, uh, interaction with others, uh, heavy focus on getting them out into the community. They also offer people the opportunity to work and earn an actual paycheck in their pre-vocational center. The work varies based on their abilities. Uh, so you saw back there some folks working, uh, counting out test tubes for lab kits. Another group were actually doing the assembly of the, uh, what we refer to as gumball capsules. Marty says this gives them a sense of belonging. You know, our folks are like everybody else. Their job's important to them, and this is their job. Uh, it's a part of being an adult in America that we value ourselves by what we're able to produce. It gives them that sense of fulfillment. It's a piece of the puzzle. You know, obviously there we're also hoping that they're learning skills that allow them to move on to a next step. That next step is moving out to work in businesses around the community. We work with the uh, various businesses in our communities. So down here, retailers, uh, the hospitality industry along the beach, um, and a variety of manufacturers trying to suit people to jobs and needs that they have. And we're providing them a highly motivated workforce. Um, we're giving the people we serve the chance to be a part of the everyday life of this community. And of course, getting people to and from those jobs can be challenging. Especially in this part of Delaware where it's somewhat more rural, public transit's not routine, getting these folks out to their jobs is a real challenge. Uh, we need to assist families getting them here. Very often we provide pickup service. Some families do bring their child or son or daughter here. Um, but also uh, getting them out to work. Uh, for those in the enrichment program, getting them out to a retail store, making sure they can do that is important. And none of this would be possible without the help of volunteers. People can help in a variety of ways. They can be volunteering hands-on with the people we serve. They may be working in an office, doing a clerical task so somebody's freed up to do other work. Uh, they may be providing contact with the business community, doing outreach for us. Hey, Eddie, you figured out what kind of movies you're going to see this weekend? Yeah. And if you're anything like Marty, you'll also get a lot from the experience. You know, there is a, a huge amount of pleasure in seeing somebody that society has said has no role demonstrate not only do they have a role, but that they have, you know, a place in the community and that they take the same pleasure, you know, in their independence and their ability to succeed as any of us want. It's just a, an incredibly uplifting experience. Wow, Sean, thanks for bringing this. Now, just to let you know, Delaware isn't the only part of Delmarva Chimes serves. A few years ago, they expanded again and now offer some of their services to the eastern shore of Maryland. And if you want to learn more about Chimes International, 
They're holding an informational talk this Sunday, February 22nd, 2 o'clock in the afternoon at the Seaside Jewish Community Center that's in Rehoboth Beach. They'll be talking about everything from hiring a person from Chimes to volunteering with the organization. What a great organization it is. Yeah.